Hey team, uh, today I've got a special treat. I got uh, myself a stand-up paddleboard, an inflatable one in fact. Um, you know, as an inflatable one, you may want to be careful with your box cutter when you open the box because obviously slicing the paddleboard unit itself is, is not a great idea. <laughs> That said, uh, here's the unit. Uh, it comes, of course, uh, with this little um, orange container that actually has uh, like a repair kit is what it is essentially. So if you do pop it, it gave you some stuff to repair it with. It comes with a bag uh, that it's a nice uh, bag that uh, has backpack straps on it and and some pouches and you can put the unit inside of the bag and put it on your back to carry it out to the beach that's pretty nice and of course it comes with the uh, the vacuum which is it's of plastic but it's uh, it looks like it's reasonably well constructed um, now the paddle is even uh, nicer then the vacuum, it seems to be made out of aluminum, uh, is what I'm guessing. It's um, some sort of metal construction. And um, it has uh, the measurement on it in case, you know, for switching it between going on your knees or, or just standing up. And I suppose it depends on your height and so forth. And it, again, it's well constructed and engineered. It fits in quite nicely. Uh, the part that you adjust when you're you know out there uh, slides in here now this little latch uh, clasp here is um, adjustable and uh, you might want to tighten that a little bit I didn't tighten it and I found that to be a bit of an issue so you might want to uh, fix that later on uh, or actually I would do it now uh, just tighten that a little bit there um, this here is the uh, what is that the keel is that what it's called I can't remember rudder uh, anyway it's a fin and it's uh, again very nicely uh, you know nice construction and material uh, some kind of heavy plastic um, it's not chintzy the um, uh, emergency cord that you attach to your ankle again not chintzy it's a uh, very nice material and construction the user manual is uh, pretty good it's not that teeny weeny little manual with the the writing that you need a microscope to see uh, it's got some clear instructions and all that the safety precautions don't do stupid things yada yada so here's the unit it's uh, packaged nicely it um, this little wrap here, you might want to save it for when you uh, close it up. You use that to, you know, tighten it up, uh, you know, after you deflate it. Uh, the unit itself, the material is, is very durable, hefty material. Uh, I got the uh, Shark one, of course. Looks cool. Um, the uh, fins on the back are attached nicely uh, again durable plastic it all seems very nicely engineered I'm gonna put the the back fin here on after I inflate it uh, so that it's not laying against the ground uh, while I'm inflating it and I'll, I'll show you that installation there in a second uh, but it, it will go like that uh, with that little lock sliding into place again well engineered and it fits very nicely so the the vacuum pump is, is pretty easy to assemble you just uh, screw the nozzle on uh, before you're gonna uh, inflate this guy um, and uh, it's it's rather simple it just screws right on there you don't need to crank it down with your super strength uh, and strip it and just tighten it put it on there normally and uh, and then we're ready to go ahead and inflate this guy 
so in inflating it, it's actually nice as opposed to some of the inflatables. Um, it, it has a valve that you you push in the valve all the way and it deflates and you have it s s out uh, up in the up position uh, to inflate it uh, to get it to stay in the up position uh, you you know you it says to just push it and it pops out but I, I found that if you turn it to the left a little bit it pops out um, also but make sure it's in the up position when you're inflating it if not you know it's like as soon as you take the pump off it just deflates which uh, doesn't help so I don't you know see any method for knowing when it's full I just pumped it up until it felt reasonably hard uh, it's my understanding it'll just pop off <laughs> if you over inflate it but uh, anyway um, if you push in the button there it will let the air out so you know that's how you do it uh, when you're done uh, just screw this thing back on so it secures that and you can see uh, it's, it's it's pretty solid uh, and stiff I mean you can tell it's an inflatable versus um, you know a hard one but it's pretty good so this is the back fin uh, you can see it slides right in there once you put it in all the way there's a lock uh, that you you slide in and it just snaps right in place and holds it securely um, it's, it's super nice I mean this thing is nice I like it and there it is I mean that looks good right I think um, I think we're gonna go ahead and throw it in the lake all right guys let's go ahead and give this a test run I, I admit I confess I am unprepared I am NOT bringing my flip-flops in here because they sink and I don't have any boat shoes so I have to go barefoot which is always a little bit scary in uh, lakes and such. You can see I brought my water bottle. Uh, let's go ahead and see how this goes. Oh, I don't know. Guys, I'm a big time proponent. Well, I'm gonna fall and die. <laughs> oh my goodness, this thing's, it's a little wiggly, guys. <laughs> uh, but I confess I am not a professional paddle boarder. Oh my god, I am not good at this. <laughs> well, alright. <laughs> Hope you don't tip. <laughs> it's gonna tip. Really? <laughs> Told you. <laughs> you need somebody light. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Jeez. Don't fall in! <laughs> Ew! <laughs> okay, reset. <laughs> I'm gonna try again. This, this thing is w wiggly. <laughs> Alright team, I am, I'm not a paddle board, in fact, I mean I've windsurfed, but this is the first time paddle board, and uh, I'm not really sure how 
stable most of the paddle boards are or not. This one's a little wiggly. I mean, I can get on my knees without a problem. So this is not a problem uh, doing it on your knees. But it is called a SUP, or S-U-P, which means stand-up paddleboard. But that said, I, I'm guessing that takes a little bit more practice uh, uh, to get used to the wobbliness and to hold it steady. But regarding the, the, the materials, it, uh, it's, you know, real durable. I mean, it uh, feels real tough and uh, I'm not seeing any issues, but I, I seem to begin it now a little bit better. All right, there we go. I think you just got to sit there and fool with it a little. Now the paddle has this adjustment right here that needs to be tightened. Well, almost fell playing with that. This is going to take some practice, team. <laughs> this is definitely going to take some practice. <laughs> uh, I'm going to... And it goes fast. Look how fast I'm going. Holy crap. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, Alright, I'm getting it now. Sort of. You know I'm going to fall. <laughs> I should probably put my feet wider, but as soon as I move my feet, I feel like I'm going to fall. Yeah. Okay, making the turn, making the turn, alright, I made the turn, alright, I'm doing it guys, now, what we'll do here in this video maybe, or in a later video, is we're going to have a pro paddle boarder come out here, and run this thing around the lake at super speed. That said, I'm getting better at it. Still quite wobbly, but you just keep trying. <laughs> and like anything, don't quit. Never be a quitter. Especially if you know it's doable. It's just a some things aren't easy right out of the box you know windsurfing you're not going to go jump on a windsurfer and do it on the first run and i guess the same holds true with a sand up board here huh well, so all right uh, let's head in and uh maybe see if we can have Other people try it. And we'll put some videos up, maybe using the drone. That'd be cool, right? Uh, of the board. Alright, let's see how you do. Don't go far, I don't have any zoom. at all I can zoom around like a super speed look how fast it goes I mean I'm moving this thing freaking really cruises look at it so 